All right, home athletes, happy Tuesday. Workout for you today. We have five rounds of 400 meter run, 20 dumbbell deadlifts, and 40 double unders. So we have some cardio, we have some lifting, and we have some plyometrics or jumping, if you will. So a nice little combination of movements today. Probably about, uh, let's say, two, three, four, probably about four minutes per round, which puts us at about 20 minutes or so total for the workout. Feel free to prove me wrong by doing this faster. All right, so going through the movements, 400 meter run, 200 meters down, 200 meters back, ideally takes us around two minutes, give or take, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Remember my, my favorite, my lean and pull cues, right? Lean into it, use your body weight coming from the hips to pull you forward, put gravity to your use. And then think about staying nice and light on the feet and pulling those heels up towards your backside, right? This makes for a nice low impact run, uh, efficient, low impact. And again, you're using gravity to actually help you with your running. Then we have some deadlifting, of course, working that lower half, particularly our posterior chain, glutes and hamstrings. We have our two dumbbells, we're doing 20 reps. Remember, this is a hip hinge movement, right? So we keep that midline engaged, right? Belly tight, back stays nice and flat, and the movement is all at the hips. We call this the hip hinge. So we're loading up, you should feel tension on your hamstrings, you should feel tension on the glutes. And I like to think of the deadlift as more of a push. What we're doing here is we're literally, we're pushing the feet into the floor and we're pushing with the legs to make those weights come up. All right, keep that back nice and flat, we push, right back down again, we push, right back down again, we push. So it's very much a lower body push on this movement. And again, very important, as I've said, to kind of keep the belly nice and tight. This keeps the back nice and flat. We don't want any kind of movement of the spine throughout the movement, right? We're going here, we're going here, back stays locked in place. And then, of course, we have our jumping station. Uh, if you have a jump rope and you can do double unders, you're gonna do 40 double unders. If you have a jump rope, but you cannot yet do double unders, let's go ahead and do 60 single unders today or practicing your double unders. So maybe you can kind of sort of do double unders and as usual, pick a number that you can do. Let's see, 40 double unders realistically should take about 30 seconds or so at the most. So maybe do as many as you double unders as you can in 30 seconds or pick a number ahead of time that you know you can get done in less than 30 seconds. You know, maybe 10, maybe 15, 20, whatever works for you. Or do your 60 singles, or do your 60 line hops, or do your 30 across and back over the dumbbell like we do, right? Boom, and boom. Either way, you're jumping. And uh, yeah, there you go, five rounds total. Run, lift, jump. Just like that. Any questions, any concerns, any feedback you want to give me here at the gym, uh, morgan at rivet.fit is my email address here. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great workout, guys. Talk to you again tomorrow.